you a lot of you cook and do stuff I'm not like I've done my my bone broth which I will definitely put up for you and I'm just trying to think now get it right lady put it up there right there and um, but I'm thinking back on cream puffs all of a sudden it's like cream puffs are coming into my head anyway I just used to make the best cream puffs and uh, so if you're vegan you might just want to like move on but you could make them for somebody else anyway my kids love my cream puffs so much when they were little they say mommy we don't want a birthday cake we just want you to make cream puffs I go are you kidding me that you want me to make cream puffs for 15 kids and I'll probably have to make more than one and I used to make the big huge ones and they're so good so anyway I thought you know what I'm gonna make cream puffs for you guys today yep. but in that little journey of doing cream puffs I just have to share this this has been a cookbook that I have owned forever yeah. housekeeping I mean what the heck that's what we have you know make sure you were a good housekeeper <laughs> in the days that I got married but all the memories the stuff I've got written in here um, Bill's sandwiches his favorite sandwiches are the ones that his mom made and we called her Mavi so I you know it's handwritten in there it wasn't in the book it was a family thing I even wrote down that Safeway uh, dinner buns were the best the best one to have cream puffs I haven't made these in a long time uh, they have cream puff filling in here I don't use that I use whipping cream because that's what I like I love whipping cream so well, I'm going to stuff mine that way and those are the ones we used to have in Holland like they were either had like had a custard in them or they had whipping cream in them so I'm going to use whipping cream and uh, I need uh, and then chocolate poured out chocolate glaze over the top oh my gosh and you know what <laughs> This is not a good day for me. To be, I just started back on my Weight Watchers program. I'm gonna to have to drop these things, these cream puffs off to the kids so I don't get tempted. I might have one, as long as I count the points, I won't be in trouble. Okay. Okay, so today we're going to, <laughs> me and all of you, we'll see if I can do this, gonna make my recipe, um, cream puffs right here. I will uh, put it down below. It's not that complicated. We need eggs. Um, I need my whipping cream. I use whipping cream stabilizer. I don't know if you've ever used this. This is the greatest stuff. If you're going to use whipping cream uh, for a cake or cream puffs like this, it makes it really nice and thick and it doesn't get runny in the fridge. So something to keep in mind. I need my butter. I need my flour, I have my salt, and then of course my chocolate, and I use the semi-sweet. Okay, let's go. Okay, it says grease, um, large cookie sheet, so I've got this one here, and then I do use my, um, I, I like to use coconut, because it's appealing to anything that you bake almost, and there we go. Okay, well, we need one cup of water. I already heated this pan up. Now, we need... This is my Weight Watcher spoon. I love their spoons. I've had... I have two sets of these. I brought the one from Palm Springs home too, so they've got a one cup, half a cup measurement, and... So I couldn't find my other cup, so this was just a lot easier. So there we go. I don't need this yet. So I gotta bring this melted and bring it to, and that was my salt. Okay. So I've reduced it to low. And so now vigorously, vigorously, I need to start adding the flour. Come on. With a wooden spoon. You must, for some reason, use a wooden spoon. Okay. This has got to become a ball that literally just comes off the sides of the... Four 
free range eggs. One at a time. Okay, so they should have been three inches apart. They're not. Oh, well, I never profess to be Miss Baker. Anyway, in the oven for 50 minutes. Whipping cream time. I love whipping cream. Okay. Wink, wink. Okay, so I got the large whipping cream. It's berry season too, so we can always use it for that. So this is one liter. And oh my gosh, you guys, I don't have granulated sugar, but I have this and I do not care for this. The flavor of it really turns me off, but I will use a tiny, well, you know what? I think that's just my regular sugar. Okay. I know this is really bad. Okay, two and a half, okay? You know there's like eight of those in a can of co uh, Coke, and there's nine of those in a tonic water, which I thought I was being a really good girl drinking gin and tonic, and uh, only to find out that I was just loading up on sugar. Okay, so this is my stabilizer going in that I showed you. Here I thought, I guess I didn't cut it back far enough. Okay. Let's get it all out. You can go back to the beginning of the video if you can't remember what that was. This is, this is the only mixer I have, so that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so look at this. And with the stabilizer in it now, it will almost pretty well stay like this. You just really gotta watch it that it, I mean, look at that. Oh. Oh. Yummy. All right, you guys know I'm on Weight Watchers, right? Okay, so here's my whipping cream. So that's pretty nice for inside a cream puff. See that? And it'll pretty well stay this way now because I put the stabilizer in. Okay, 20 minutes and almost 20 minutes on the dot. We, the timer will go off. Okay guys, I just took these out of the oven. Look at, oh, I gotta turn this off. Uh, oh, a timer off. Okay, timer off. Okay, look at them. Are they beautiful or what? Now, they're still a little bit warm, so what I like to do before they get totally cool is to, I maybe could have made a little bit more of a point on it, and they're beautiful on the bottom. Look at this, oh my God. I have restored confidence again. Okay, so what I like to do is cut them open half, okay, sort of a little bit of a moon, Um, because I got to stuff and this is so much so much easier to do look at that when uh, they are still a little bit warm so I'm going to cut these okay so I've got to make my chocolate uh, I mean these would never taste any good without chocolate on them and I did okay I don't have a dub double boiler you guys so oh, I'm really wanted to show you this. So I just have a pot of water and I have that sitting in it. Okay, we don't need all that fancy stuff. Unless you bake all the time, then you gotta have it. Okay, so 
I've actually turned this down already. A little bit of um, a little bit of butter. There probably is a thousand ways, well, maybe not a thousand, to make this, but, you know, I'm just going with what I know for me. You know what? When things get really complicated and I have to start, like, really in detail, go-to recipes, I really lose interest. I know we live in a condo near a main artery. We can build them anywhere now. A golf course on one side and the main street on the other. So we really do hear the sirens. And this is so nice because actually having it like this, if you know, I don't get to it right away, it's just really easy to um, get it nice and, and soft again and runny. Look at that. Oh, Bill's peeking around the corner, you guys. He just got back from the golf course. Now he wants to sniff around in the kitchen. Hi, honey. Okay, so this is probably the easiest way to do it. You guys see me doing this? Yeah, let me put, bring this up a little bit. So I'm just dipping these in. Now I'm going to stuff the whipping cream into it after. Oh. Oh dear. <gasps> Do you know what? You really can't go wrong with chocolate or too much chocolate. Okay. Now remember, um, I... I just got my uh, whipping cream out of the fridge and look at how nice it stayed. There's like no, oh, I got a little chocolate in there. It's nice and firm. Now I'm not going to do all of these because uh, it's just Bill and I tonight and I don't, I don't want to fill all of them, but let's just get one here. Now this one, the top actually came right off. So. Actually, this even could have been a little bit stiffer. There is a yummy cream puff. And there's nothing like a homemade Green puff. And here is a little wee one. Anyway, guys, try these. They're really good. Thanks for coming by.